Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a basic parametric room here in Rubik, depending on both walls and floors. So, uh, I will start off by adding point by coordinate, so just points. And I probably copy and paste this four times, so I may need here four points as such. Now, the four of them are actually here as the zero, zero. So now, as we said, it's parametric. So you're gonna need an, uh, a slider. And I'm not gonna provide those points based on their X and Y. So first I'm gonna go uh, integer, actually. So in integer, uh, I'll define, uh, let's go maximum 10,000, which is 10 meter actually. And the step for the change probably each half meter. So I'm not gonna start from zero. Or actually, can we start from zero? Uh, no, I will we'll just like uh, add a minimum for like uh, let's say 2,000 by 2,000 room. So that's the integer. I'm gonna change the name of that integer, and I'm gonna call it uh, let's say length, and put that here and then I'm gonna copy that and paste it and I'm gonna change that into width or depth whatever you want to call it so again this point will be the zero zero here so this point will be goes far away that way so I'm gonna add this the length only to the X okay while the Y is this guy which will be remain zero now this point which should be here so if i just stop that and double check what i'm doing so i'll probably need to zoom out i think too much even to see yeah here yep you see it's so far away anyway and again the in huge distances as i said is that uh, we working here 2000 million which is over way much bigger than that units that we have anyway so to make another point there, to make another point there, and then there. So I need x, and I need the y to be this. And as you can see, in the last one, I need the y only. So if I push this, that's my four, you know, points. I'm gonna zoom in because it's a little bit I don't know confuses confusing for me. Oh. Well, after a second thought, just keep it. Let me add the lines and then we get out of this very huge view. So that's that's the lines. That's the point, sorry. And that's their uh, lines. That's that's enough. Good enough. Now I need to create lines. So I'm going to go line here. And it's again line by start and point. And again I'm gonna add four of those and as you can see here four line four points so again each one should be you know have twice roll and start and point and end so if this is the start this will be the end okay and this guy will be the start this guy will be the end beautiful see this I see that and then this guy will be the start this guy will be the end this dude will be the start and this dude will be the end and you can see now in the background that we have a full rectangle so I'm gonna close that so now we have four lines representing the baseline for the walls so now I'll put those in the list and I'll create a list here see and now I'll create the slab out of that or the floor so I'm gonna go a uh, floor and uh, 
let me go by outline. This one, again, it's Revit element, so this guy needs outline and it needs also a level. So I'm gonna put that aside. So for the outline, of course, that's uh, the list for. So I probably need to make this manual. Floor type is a floor type, so again, floor type. That's my floor type. So pick up whatever you want from the types available in Revit. You can make it just the uh, concrete, generic, uh, concrete 300, no generic 300, whatever. Uh, NCQ concrete 225, uh, just go this one. Connect it to the right place. Levels or a level and in the level here I'm gonna just say or assume it's on uh, level 1 or even in level 2 whatever we're gonna do both so don't worry so I make that and then all we might need is to run that function to double check uh, if it's work so I'm gonna hit run and as you see here it's actually been created for us uh, for by a uh, two by two meter and then the thickness of it whatever the thickness here two two five so i'm just making this more realistic uh, let me go ten thousand and probably the width of the wall maybe five thousand and then hit run to try to get a bigger slab for a bigger room like this that's a ten by five so as you see uh, mission accomplished so far now now we need to repeat the whole thing again and this time for the top slab so select this guy this guy sorry this guy this guy this guy and this guy and control c control v them and now i made a mistake here uh, actually i shouldn't select this or neither that or that so just this guy sorry so again it's the same floor type so that's why i shouldn't copy it and it's the level is the difference so yep we need the new level and this time it's on level two now the outline that's why i said i shouldn't copy it because it, it just needs to get a copy of that not to copy itself just the geometry translate so Probably I'll go here and write translate. And the easy way to do this is by having an XYZ, so probably this. Much more easier. So, again, uh, what is this? Uh, that's it, that's the level here. So it needs the geometry, so in this case it's going to be this guy. And how much you are actually... So I'm going to have a number. And this number should be the same height as the level, so I believe it's uh, 4000. So I'm going to push that around uh, 4000. Double check, so I'm going to zoom in, go to the east elevation. And yes, it's 4000, so back to the 3D thing. That's my 3D. And now probably I need to go to Dynamo here. Yep. So that's uh, about it. So now, again, that's my geometry. And we need to run again. See? That's the second slab or the top slab. Now, this is basically enough for us to create the whole slabs thing which is new for you now we need to depend on those especially the list here to create the required uh, outlines for the wall so I'll just put those two things aside as you can see now I'll create the wall so all I need is basically actually you need a, a wall by uh, wall by curve and height which is very simple very similar that's what we done and the curve is this that's the center for them 
the height for this and the level uh, I'm gonna need probably a level one here to start for the wall types that's the wall types I'm gonna zoom in a little bit a wall type so probably uh, anything else rather than the storefront system so whatever let's go this so that's the type of the wall that I prefer uh, height and the height of the walls I have this been created as a uh, 4000 which is the height of the floor anyway so probably I'll drag that here so now if I change the name of this and let's say this is the height of floor sorry <clears throat> so we might need uh, to do or you take on this floor finish to floor finish by the way it's more accurate uh, you probably need a level we did that uh, probably we need the parapet height so if I just copy this guy and I paste it here I can just rename it and uh, probably call it the parapet or whatever and I'll make it uh, 1000 so now probably I need a code block here so in the code block which is really powerful tool guys you can uh, substitute the way of making uh, algorithms or even programming an entire node in it so I'll just say A plus B and as long as it doesn't have quotation on anything or anything and you end up with the semicolons here uh, Revit or Dynamo actually create A import and port and B port so that will be A and that will be B and now it's uh, uh, it's accumulating A and plusing it with B and now it's 5000 and that's the height from the lowest point here to the height of the parapet and that's what I want so the amount of height of those walls will be the accumulation of those two things as such so let's run this machine and see if it's working so let's go on <clears throat> and as you can see uh, uh, it's been created correctly except that the walls are actually flipped so I'm gonna have a wall type that it isn't recognizing uh, two sides it doesn't have two sides to flip I don't want to bother by that so let's uh, whatever we have uh, every type, any type to have I'm gonna go generic maybe and hit run again or you need to you know like uh, be aware of which side you're working on see now we have this very basic home as you can see and it's made of walls and slabs so if any time you come here to the to the parameters of those you know like it's like a box like it's a room you know so I can make the room like 9000 and hit run or like 5065 and as you can see it's gonna change immediately I can change the depth of it and it's gonna change and that's really beauty you can make it 10 again and run that instead of designing the whole room the whole elements just make uh, make a real uh, dynamo for it and it can be generated uh, based on uh, whatever you think properly or uh, tree design everything for you that's really nice anyway I wish that uh, you find that tutorial useful uh, thank you very much and have a good day